Hi, everyone. Um, today, we are going to talk about uh, using ChatGPT for your motivation letters and for your research proposals when you are trying to apply for scholarships abroad. Um, so ChatGPT came around November 2022. And now everybody who is essentially applying for scholarships already kind of know about uh, ChatGPT and they use it. Um, so while using it, we think that nobody is going to detect it and everybody is going to think that you have written this fantastic English. Um, but let me show you something. Um, so this is very easily detectable if you are using ChatGPT. So I asked ChatGPT to write a 250 words essay about India. So here on the screen, you can see my um, chat GPT. I asked, uh, write 250 words about essay about India. And here's this essay. I copied this essay and I randomly put this in one of the websites uh, which can detect. So it's a zero GPT and it can easily detect that it is 100% AI generated text. So this is just one of the tools which is really available and any professor, lecturer around the world have access to these tools. Like even you can detect the um, AI generator stuff yourself as well. So we have access to tools. And uh, when, when I said we, I mean teachers. So all the teachers have access to these tools. And in fact, we have tools to, we have access to premium versions of these tools. It means they can tell us much more information about if the, where is the text coming from. So don't over, don't be over smart. Don't um, think that that's not going to be detectable. Um, this is going to be, and this does not only disqualify you from the competition, but in fact, it gives a very negative impression of from wherever you are going to apply and the chances that next time you even get selected to like even round one, um, they are even smaller. So please try not to use ChatGPT or if for the final draft. Um, just use it for guidance, but not the final drafts. 